Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some oyster crackers for you. These aren't just regular oyster crackers though. These are seasoned. I have the Parmesan peppercorn. And I have ranch. And these are Kroger brand. They were only $1.49 each at Kroger. But Kevin and I bought them because we're always looking for something different to snack on at night. Especially salty. Yeah, and these, since they're seasoned, they just sounded really, really good. So we figured that we would give them a try. I'm gonna open those. See. It says drop anchor on the little cracker with big flavor baked in every bite. Seasoned oyster crackers make every occasion better. Grab a handful for an impromptu snack or toss them into your sea of salad or salad soup. Would be good. Yeah. Soup would always be good. Enjoy every crunchy bite. Now, Kevin and I, we have a recipe. It's called I called it how to make oyster crackers. Well, I've had a lot of comments. You're not making oyster crackers. You're not showing how to make oyster crackers. I know, but that's, it's a recipe that my mom made and you put things in them to season them. So we're You're figuring- seasoning oyster crackers. I'm seasoning how to season oyster crackers. But so anyway. Um, You're not baking. Uh, <laughs> I figured if these tasted anything like that, it could save us from having to make our own mm -hmm. because those, those are really, really good. And the calories are not bad either. Um, eight servings in the box. 60 crackers or 30 grams is 140 It's the dollars. same for both of them. Okay. Mmm. They have a nice buttery flavor. Mm -hmm. They get that, that Parmesan too. Mm-hmm. I like those. The flavors are a little light, but they're, they're not I, bad. Yeah, I think it's... It's buttery and you do get the, the Parmesan. I do think that they could have gone stronger on their flavors. Yeah, the underlying flavor is still saltine cracker like flavor. Mm -hmm. It's a very bland yeah. cracker flavor. It's primarily just a cracker. Yeah. Okay, let's try yours. But you do get that little bit of Parmesan, so that's nice. I but wish it was range. more. If it had been more, it would have made me want to buy them again. Yeah. I wish it was more, so. It's something, a little garlicky or something. Mm -hmm. Now these are the ranch. I think well, we we haven't made them in a while, but I'm thinking we use dill weed. Yeah, we do. Dill weed, and it's delicious. In that and it's very there. strong flavor too. It is. So I would so think good. the ones we make are probably closer to this ranch than. That's what I'm thinking too. Than parmesan. Right. Okay. That's pretty close to what you made. It's still a little light on flavor. It is closer. Mm. Yeah. That's it's good. It does have that dill weed kind of flavor. It does. But the flavors aren't nearly as strong as it, what we make a homemade. No. But if you didn't, I mean, and they're so easy to make. Literally, you're it's just a, mixing stuff up. It's a ranch dressing mix and a... Dill weed um, and, and some oil in there. I think so. Yeah. So much. But if you didn't want to go to all the trouble, you could buy these. I would recommend nice. these. I yeah, really like good. these. I could say I need these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would buy the ranch again. Mm -hmm. um, and what we do is when we make them, uh, we make them for like Christmas Eve and stuff like that. And you would like, you have all your little like party appetizers mm -hmm. and you would just pour these out in a yeah, bowl so with a spoon. Like and that. people can scoop some out onto their plate and eat them like that. Uh, this would be the easy way to go. For $1.49, I like the ranch ones. I really do. The ranch, Parmesan ones are okay, but they're, they're lacking flavor. They just needed more flavor, yeah. So I hope that you can get them in your Kroger, and thanks for watching.